Hey there, Dustin over at Camping World. I, I was requested to get a little bit more information on this particular unit, so I, I figured I would do just a, a walkthrough video of it and kind of uh, parse it all together here. So we'll start off at the front. It does have a power tongue jack. There's a manual override if needed be. Uh, two 20-pound LP tanks. They can be upgraded to a 30, and then your battery box right behind there. Uh, underneath there, they do have a spare tire as well. Uh, I believe from the factory, and the mount point on it's actually ideal instead of going underneath the trailer as well as your battery disconnect way in the back there i'm not sure if you can see it uh rock guard equipped on the coach and then on the front they do have the automotive window uh it works just like your windshield so if a rock does fly up and hit it it's not going to shatter into a million pieces like a, a single pane glass would now on the construction end of things it is a fiberglass sided coach uh, the aluminum framing underneath there and that is Asdell composite as opposed to uh, the traditional means uh, which there's essentially no wood in the the composite structure so there's nothing that can actually physically rot away uh, which does speak it's the essentially new fang fangled fancy technology uh, outdoor kitchen spot to mount a grill there is a little storage uh, drawer that'll slide out right there cable tv outside 110 power it is a dual axle on a small frame coach as well which just makes it a little bit more reliable headed down the road uh, you do have your flip up steps that's the newfangled technology too full awning power awning it does span just about the length of the coach uh, you do have a fully walkable roof on here as well uh, most places you have to walk just on the um uh, where the framing is, but it's fully walkable. I wouldn't be having a party up there, but I don't advise that regardless. Uh, outdoor shower, all your water hookups are on the back. It does have a black tank flush as well. Uh, just clean out your black tank. Aluminum wheels, nitro filled tires, and moving on to the inside. That would be your fresh fill, by the way, right there. And before I make it too, too far, just to give you a quick idea of the, the pass-through storage in here, it is uh, a full pass through uh, you can kind of get an idea on the aluminum framing which just the less wood in here the less there is to rot etc etc decals are holding up well let's head on inside so as we walk in good storage right to the left you have a little pantry right here which is right next to your gas and electric Dometic I believe eight cubic foot fridge and then your breaker box right underneath, which placement of it is ideal. Uh, it's not in the way of any slide out, so you can actually get to it. I've been in a couple units where you have no access when your slide's in, and then if the breaker for your slide goes, you're out of luck. Moving in here, your commode, and some good storage right behind there, as well as your sink, and a little bit of storage up above. You do have a really large angled shower here. I don't know the dimensions off the top of my head, but I, I don't feel cramped in here. Head height, I'm six foot tall. I got plenty of space there. Shoes on that end. You, you do have a two bay sink here. Three burner cooktop, stove underneath that, and then quite a bit of counter space for a small frame coach. Some good storage underneath the entertainment center. This is on a swivel mount, so you can move it around as you need. And then this will control your indoor and outdoor speakers. You can kind of see the automotive window from the inside here. Of course, the shade's down. And then we got our uh, jackknife couch as well. Not quite a bit of, there's no storage underneath there, but there is a little spot for the table underneath the bed, which will lift up. Give you quite a bit under there. And for a quick tour, I hope that kind of helps and I hope that kind of touches on some of the things I wanted to bring up about construction. Um, aftermarket upgrades, they do have the uh, camper cover right there, as well as they did the wine guard uh, internet upgrade, it looks like as well. So it's not bare bones by any means. I love the little spot for the trash can. That's my favorite part. Anyways, I, I hope that helped. And any other questions, feel free. Give me a ring. 603-452-7291. Thank you.